Hey, what's happening guys? Vega here from Serpent X Special Forces and in this video I just want to build out with you a RTX 3000 series mining rig. Specifically, we're going to be focusing on the RTX 3080 because in my opinion, at least with this generational release, that is going to be the best uh, performer as far as uh, hash rate to price or price to performance. Now the 3000 series is going to be especially hard to get our hands on because one, the pandemic is stunting, uh, you know, the distribution. So stock is going to be low, but demand is going to be high. People are going to be scrambling to get their hands on these GPUs uh, for you know the gaming community, uh, the mining community, and then just for the resale community because we all know that when a release comes out, there's some scalpers out there that will buy a bunch of these GPUs just to sell them at a high price on eBay. So we're going to be building out a 6 GPU RTX 3080 rig and seeing what our break even would be. Now there was some data and information released put on Twitter and, and a number of us in the crypto mining community, Red Panda, Savage Mine, uh, Oh Got a Girl, just everybody in the community you know looking at this information validating or kind of talking behind the scenes whether or not this information is valid so we, we got a ballpark idea and I, at least I have a ballpark idea of what to expect from these GPUs and you see on here that the 3080 was getting around 90 mega hash but we don't know the power draw however behind the scenes information even Savage Mind saw it as well and this is his chart by the way uh, which once I get his confirmation or permission I will have linked in the description but you can see that we got the hash rate for mining ethereum at 98 mega hash but the power draw is sitting here at 224 it's a little bit high for my taste so just with some simple calculations um, let's say for example we're getting 98 mega hash so 98 divided by 224 that puts us at 0.43 we times that because I want to get to 175 watts okay uh, so the 1080 Ti that I have will get around 190 watts uh, with getting the best hash rate that I can get around 50 51 I think it's dropped now because of you know certain variables within the mining ethereum community but the 2080 is around the 160 mark uh, and I, so I want to bring this GPU down to 175 that will be a good spot so if I times this by 175 we can see maybe 76 to 78 mega hash. Now this is ballparking may not be actual and stay tuned and check the description because if I do have actual data or information I will link it in the description of this video if you watch it in the future. So let's just say an easy 77 mega hash um, at 175 watts and I didn't mean to close the calculator and with that information what we see here is we could get about 456 mega hash with six RX 3080s pulling about 1056 watts with a power cost of 10 cent per kilowatt fees 1% and our total hardware costs I put at 4850 that's calculating everything uh, two power supplies uh, the CPU so we can get a, a, a cheap CPU you know roughly anywhere used market anywhere from 30 to fifty dollars depending on where you look and the demand for it power supplies ranging uh, somewhere in there between 130 to 150 I know right now power supplies uh, if they're still hard to get a hold of they're gonna be around 200 bucks like for example this 1200 watt one from Thermaltake is the, the seller which is not Amazon itself but a third-party vendor so watch out for that is selling it for 410 uh, but overall, I calculated everything: uh, connections, risers, uh, splitters, CPU memory, uh, and those CPUs normally come with a fan, so we don't need to worry about that. So overall, the hardware costs with the 699 Nvidia uh, Standard Edition, because we can't call it reference uh, design because it's not really reference design, but the Nvidia's type GPU cards, which is 699 or 700 bucks each. Total hardware cost is going to be forty-eight fifty. That's that's my estimation, with all the included hardware that we need to build this actual six-card GPU mining rig. What that brings us out to is it's going to be about two hundred ninety-nine days, almost three hundred days to break even. We are estimated to make around sixteen dollars a day in profit, but two dollars and fifty-three cents in electricity being spent. At the week level, 113.50 with $17.74 uh, spent a week. 
and on a month, four hundred eighty-six dollars. We have seventy-six dollars spent on electricity for the year, though. We're close to six thousand dollars, and this is just mining Ethereum, and we're spending almost a thousand dollars in electricity for the whole year. That's pretty. That's pretty up there. So we want to be as efficient as possible. So if we can bring or fine tune the hash rate and the uh, the power draw of these GPUs a little, little bit further, which I will be doing in my testing in the future. So stay tuned for that. Subscribe to the channel for any future updates. Once I get my hand on the 3080, I will be doing some live testing as well as kind of a, a brief overview to submit to the community, as we always do to compare results and information. Uh, but the 3080 kind of seems like the sweet spot right now for this for this year's generation of GPUs. The 3090 is a little overpriced, uh, especially when it comes to price to performance. 3070 is looking okay, but with a RTX 5700, we can just beat that out right. Just it's it's not even a competition. The the RTX RX 5700 beats the RTX 3070. The 3060 looks promising though. Uh, but we don't have any concrete information. It could be the GA 104-200 down here that we're seeing get to getting close to what a 1080 Ti's hash rate would be, or um, yeah, not even the 2080, just the 1080 Ti's hash rate. So uh, that's something to keep an eye out for. But the RX 5700 and XT, if I build that out right, and I'm getting the hash rate that I know I can get because I modded my memory timings. I modified my GPU, which is very simple to do. I have plenty of videos on it. Check the channel, um, as well as Red Panda Mining has some. Guntis, uh, a number of us in the community shared our data. Bitsby Trippin also noticed something very significant, which is why people were bumping into errors when they try to flash their GPUs after modifying the memory timing, saving the BIOS, and all that stuff. Uh, and quite specifically, it's because Igor's lab and their team have implemented something within that tool so you need to get the tool from them Igor's lab not just the AMD VB flash from you know our gen general uh, guru 3d and stuff like that but that's in a separate video that I covered if you need help with that the 5700 we can get anywhere from 56 on a regular 5700 all the way up to 61 almost 62 mega hash on a XT really depending on the silicon lottery but let's just estimate that we're getting 336 hash rate Mining Ethereum again, pulling about 700 watts, which it could be a little bit more than that, maybe 720, 750, depending. Uh, same kilowatt hour, same fees, but the hardware cost, look at the difference. 3250 versus 4850. That's quite a significant drop in hardware costs. And our break even is 268 days versus 299 days. So we, we actually break even almost 30, 30 days uh, sooner than we would with the RTX 3080. Uh, daily profit twelve dollars. Uh, weekly eighty four. Monthly three hundred sixty three. Yearly four hundred forty uh, forty four twenty six. Uh, so four thousand four hundred twenty six dollars a year compared to almost six thousand dollars with the RTX thirty eighty. Uh, however, big Navi is around the corner, so this information, this data may change. Uh, stay tuned. I may do a revise once we actually start getting closer and I get uh, a. a firm understanding or, or a better understanding of the possible hash rates of the big navi release but I mean the Radeon 7 is still close to seven hundred dollars I mean you could find some use for around six hundred bucks and so on and so forth uh, while the 3080 that's coming out is gonna be six ninety nine and realistically if you're a gamer slash miner you probably might want to go with the RTX 3080 rather than the Radeon 7 but the RTX 3080 can get close to Radeon 7 level performance as far as mining Ethereum, but it's not just focused on mining Ethereum. NVIDIA is kind of the all-around card. If for some reason Ethereum goes belly up or Ethereum Classic goes belly up or the Ethereum switches to proof of stake, there's so many other algorithms that you can choose. And the NVIDIA series GPUs allow, that, allow you that capability. We can mine some Kakaroo 29 with Swap, Grin, uh, BitTube Cash, Kapow, which is Ravencoin. There's a bunch of different coins that are still profitable in case Ethereum does switch to proof of stake that you can then switch your 3080s or your 3000 series or any NVIDIA GPU to. So it's the all around card while AMD's kind of, it, it is decent with other algos, but it's really good with, you know, Ethereum or ETH hash, Dagger, ha uh, Dagger hash, um, 
and Crypto Knight. So that's my build out for the RTX 3000 series GPU. It's going to cost you, if you wanted to build a six card rig, almost $5,000. It's going to draw somewhere almost up to close to 1,100 watts from the wall, which is getting to the maximum of, of people here in the U.S. that have a 15 amp breaker, standard, you know, normal house wiring, all that good stuff. It's going to net you almost close to 450 mega hash, if not higher, mining just Ethereum. Uh, we don't know what it does with other algos, which is why I'm not comparing that. And it's going to take you almost 300 days to break even. But in the long run, you will make $6,000 a year. So it's up to you. Uh, it's going to be very hard to get these GPUs. Be safe out there. Don't act a fool. Um, as demand increases and, and supply goes down, things will uh, kind of get a little bit heated. Just be patient. Wait for common crypto tubers or tech tubers to come out with the reviews before you go on a buying spree. Uh, and let us let us get the data to you so that way you can make an informed decision. The 28 Ti, unfortunately, a lot of people are upset about that, but uh, they're providing some decent prices for these cards if you did want to hop on it. Unfortunately, if you were thinking about getting a 2080 Ti, I would wait. Uh, there's plenty of other videos. I did a video on it uh, not too long ago about RIP 28 Ti. I feel bad for you guys. I don't have a 2080 Ti. I have a 2080, not even the Super which I will be comparing gaming performance or ray tracing performance against the 3080. So stay tuned for that. And that's going to be it for me today, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, good luck in getting these GPUs. Uh, it's going to be a, a scramble. And remember, the stock and supply is going to be low. Uh, so the demand is going to be high. That's probably going to cause some issues. And there's going to be some scalpers that turn around and sell it on eBay for maybe double or triple the price. Just be careful. Keep your head on a swivel. Like. Share, subscribe, all that good stuff that helps the channel out. I'll catch you later.